Another look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. The Guardian Angels are posting flyers and talking to people walking and driving in Little Village today after Chicago police say a man kidnapped and sexually assaulted a 13 year old girl. Police say a man in a light blue minivan pulled up to the girl around 615 Monday night in an alley off trip near 26th Street. He pulled her into the van, sexually assaulted her and then threw her out of the van before taking off. Police do not have anyone in custody. Another Trump cabinet member is out. The president's announcement about the termination of Secretary of Veterans Affairs, Dr. David Shulkin, came via Twitter. CBS 2's Laura Podesta tells us who will replace Shulkin and what his removal means for the administration. Another member of President Trump's inner circle is out. Dr. David Shulkin, Secretary of Veterans Affairs, is no longer holding the job, according to a tweet Wednesday from the president, which read in part, I am thankful for Dr. David Shulkin's service to our country and to our great veterans. White House doctor Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson will replace Shulkin as head of the VA. The president's overall health is excellent. Jackson is a naval officer who has served as White House physician for the past three presidents. Former VA head Shulkin came under fire after an inspector general report in February found that he used taxpayer money to purchase his wife's plane ticket to Europe last summer and improperly accepted tickets to a Wimbledon tennis match. I'm committed to doing what we have to do to focus on veterans and make this better. He paid back the more than $4,000 after it became public. Laura Podesta, CBS 2 News. And now here is meteorologist Rob Ellis with your forecast. Hi everyone, meteorologist Rob Ellis here. We had some showers this morning, but now we've moved most of that out of here, although northwest Indiana could see a few showers before we finally clear things out. I'm hoping to see some sunshine, getting the temperatures up into the upper 40s to near 50. Now, if you don't get to 50 today, don't worry. We've got more of that in the forecast for the seven day 50 by the time we get into your Friday. Saturday, some showers in the morning. But we may be able to get to 52 before finally some much colder air and some breezy conditions move in. That sets us up actually for a pretty nice but much colder. Easter temperatures near 40 for Easter with a lot of sunshine expected. Have a great weekend.